Viewers first met Kalani Fagada on season 6 of TLC's hit reality series 90 Day Fiancé. During that season, Kalani was just beginning her 90-day journey with Asuelu Pola, who is from Samoa. The duo is now married with two children. And they also were featured on 90 Day Fiancé, happily ever after. Recently, Kalani and Asuelu have been back in the news again, this time at the center of divorce rumors. The last few years have been an adventure for Kalani, who has consistently balanced her new relationship, parenting, and family drama. Even though Kalani remains open and honest with her fans, there's always something interesting to learn about her. In February, Kalani uploaded her first Instagram picture as an official ambassador for Rihanna's lingerie line, Savage X Fenty. She now regularly posts in an array of beautiful lingerie sets, pajamas, and robes, all made by the singer's brand. According to the brand's website Savage X Fendi celebrates fearlessness, confidence and inclusivity. And, based on Kalani's fierce ambassador pictures, she's clearly embodying that sentiment. Kalani is not the only 90-day star to get in on the Savage X Fendi ambassadorship action. Her sister, Kalini, also partners with the lingerie brand, as does Paula Mayfield from season 1 of 90 Day Fiancé. 90 Day couples often meet on websites dedicated to international relationships. However, sometimes 90-day couples meet in unique ways, as was the case with Kalani and Asuelu did. The couple met in 2017 while Kalani was vacationing in Samoa. Asuelu was the activities director at her resort. She has mentioned that Asuelu normally wouldn't be her type, but she said of their initial encounters, he'd like watch over me when I was swimming in the pool or if I was walking around and one of the nights I saw him shirtless and I was like, okay, this could work. Kalani is half Samoan on her father's side. She was born in California but her father emigrated from Samoa to the United States before meeting her mother. Kalani reps her Samoan roots with pride. She's visited the island country several times, is attempting to learn a language, and regularly showcases Samoa's beauty and rich culture on her social media. During an argument on the show, in which Asuelu suggested she should learn how to be a real Samoan girl, Kalani passionately responded, I don't agree with saying a real Samoan girl, because I am a real Samoan girl regardless of all the other parameters the other people put around me. The reality star continued, I am a real Samoan. My dad is a Samoan. I am a Samoan. The couple had their sons, Oliver and Kennedy, just over a year apart. Kalani has since been very vocal about wanting to wait before having another child. She's even partnered with Natural Cycles, a program that tracks fertility cycles. Related. All cast members on 90 Day Fiancé who have had a baby in 2022 inches an Instagram post about the company she writes. Even though being, my boys, mom has been a beautifully chaotic blessing. I wanted to make sure we waited a while for our next baby. Kalani has been very vocal about the stress of raising two young children while navigating a challenging relationship. Being intentional about growing her family seems like a prudent decision on her part. Like many 90 Day stars, Kalani uses her Instagram account to interact with viewers and promote the show. She has become a fan favorite since her first appearance on the series and she has the followers to prove it. With a fan base 800k deep, Kalani has more Instagram followers than most of her fellow castmates. As a result of her popularity, she often partners with brands and products, advertising them on her page. Brand partnering aside, her Instagram account is incredibly family-centered. Most of her photographs feature either her children, her parents, her sister, or Asuelu. Kalani and Asuelu have a YouTube channel where they give fans a more in-depth look at their lives together and their family. The channel, which currently has over 70k subscribers and almost 3 million views, features vlogs about important moments in their lives, cooking tutorials, Q&A sessions, and more. In addition to a growing YouTube channel, the couple also each has a cameo profile, where fans can pay to receive a personal greeting from the reality stars. Many cast members curate a selection of social media and paid subscription accounts, such as Cameo or OnlyFans, in order to generate extra income and exposure. Kalani and her younger sister, Kalini, are best friends. Kalini, who has become a regular on the reality series, is always supportive of Kalani even though she's had her ups and downs with her brother-in-law, Asuelu. Before Asuelu came to the U.S., Kalini was instrumental in caring for her nephew. At one point fans questioned why Kalini was so involved in her sister's marriage regardless she was never one of the worst 90-day siblings. Kalani appears to care just as deeply for her sister. She captioned an Instagram post, which featured her giving Kalini a sweet kiss on the cheek, with the inadorable message, My love for you will always be at a different depth than any other type of love. Sisterly 
love is too pure and selfless to ever deny that. Kalani's birthday is July 2nd, making her a Cancer. According to astrology, people born under the sign of Cancer are highly sensitive, loyal, emotional and devoted. They are also known for being nurturers, which makes sense since Kalani appears to love being a mother. Related, 90 Day Fiancé's Jasmine on how her and Gino's zodiac signs make them compatible as Swaylu, who was born on May 15th, is a Taurus, which, although stubborn, can be a solid match for a Cancer. Both signs place significant value on creating a strong and healthy home life, and they prefer the peace that their homes and families offer over going out or seeking excitement. Based on the stars, it looks like Kalani and Asuelu aren't as poor of a match as they sometimes appear. Like many 90-day cast members, Kalani has ties to the Mormon church. She was raised in the religion and even though she has mentioned she's no longer part of the faith, it is clear that she's grappled with with the teachings she learned growing up. She spoke on the show about being a virgin before meeting Asuelu. Kalani explained, In the Mormon faith, you're taught you don't have sex before you're married. But after my second visit to Samoa to see Asuelu, I felt like I found someone I loved and I wanted to experience it with him. Kalani's sister, Kalini, has also mentioned she is no longer Mormon. However their parents may still be. Kalani always seems to be traveling. Aside from regularly visiting Samoa, Kalani and her family are often exploring new places. She currently lives in Utah but has been posting pictures visiting cities and states all over the country. She's recently been to Disneyland, Las Vegas, New York and Hawaii. It's nice to see her family bond over traveling and it's admirable that she often includes her children on the trips, allowing them to experience places they've never been. It seems likely the family will continue to travel even more now that pandemic restrictions are easing.